Hello, thanks for joining me on this um, episode of the Flat Update. It's the 4th of 4th, 2022, and there's a lot of sanding in this. So, it's going to be a lot of sanding. Uh, I've got some in else in and I've also got my electric D Walk sander this time because that took me forever to get through before with just using the hand sander. But you'll see it <clears throat> how much a difference it makes. this point um, I wanted the tiles taken off this part of the wall because where I had gone to put in the shower curtain and hit the cable very shallow in the wall you can see at this point the cables are coming out and they'd put the cables for the light switch for the bathroom on the inside of the bathroom rather on the outside so I wanted to be able to get to them so I thought clear this side that you can see my friend working on and the back panel and the panel opposite the one he's working on currently uh, at this point we didn't we, we had a power tool electric power tool but it's plug in and it's just too heavy and it wasn't working very well so we tried hand tools um, and then we went to B&Q and bought a nice little D bolt one So you see at this point, um, I got the lights back on because <clears throat> the damaged cable was in that wall. So we done a temporary fix just so we get the light on the lights onto the rest of the flat too. Um, my friend here explained to me that this wall, the plaster's coming off easier than the um, tiles are. So I just think take all that plaster off the wall to the right of him. You can see in this the new Dewalt battery um, hammer drill SDS, and uh, we're just because we were worried um, about the cables being on the inside of this wall. On the back of the other wall is another light switch, so we're just being careful not to hit it there. But um, it, that that wall's fine, so. Uh, the rest of it should be okay. So you see all these tiles coming off quite nicely. Uh, I think some of those damaged the bath because when we start clearing it out, we realise there's a there's a, um, a dent in the bath, but it doesn't matter. I was thinking I might replace it anyway, so that's good. <music> digging into the, the plasterboard behind it's just disappearing there's like a gap so we just smashed the rest of those tiles off uh, I wanted that bit off anyway so what the, there's a, a box inside a box basically in that corner where the soil pipe for all the other flats goes down and my air vent comes goes up so you can't see it in this shot well, you can just about there's a piece of stud work then the plasterboard was put on top so it would come up all the way to the bath panel the end of the bath but um, I just rebox that in at some point when we get a new bath uh, problem with these new, the new D-Welt battery hammer drill was that uh, we'd had I'd been using a battery in the sander keeping a spare one charging and I had two other batteries in the car that we weren't fully charged so we needed those for the hammer drill 
and the hemorrhage just kept draining and within about five ten minutes but if we'd if i bought more of my batteries from home we would have been fine and if we allowed them to charge full fully we would have been fine but it doesn't matter it all got done in the end you can just see here going back to the hammer at the hammer and chisel just because we haven't got any power at that point so and now we've got power again so you see what i mean it's like 20 minute wait five minutes of excitement And uh, uh, I didn't want the orbital round one because you have to buy those pads. Whereas this one, you can just cut the pads to shape and then pierce it to allow the um, the vacuum or the dust extraction for the dust bag. Uh, and I had I have loads of pad, I have loads of sheets of it that I can just cut cut up. But with this sander, it creates, creates a lot of dust, so I need to get um, a vacuum attachment for it. But we were wearing masks, and it was all good. It was just so much dust, but I, I, it's just one of those things. I'll learn better in the future, and we'll, we'll get there. Uh, all this uh, tile adhesive that was on there, we wanted to get off to allow a... a solid base and on that wall on the right I'll get that re replastered at some replastered at some point but I need to make sure that those cables are protected Where the final fun begins because I've taken the side panel off just to see what it's like under the bath and because I saw that dink in the top um, I decided just just rip it out I'm gonna dispose of it and properly and I just I thought we'll do it now and it was recommended I cut cut it in half to to get underneath because they didn't have taps underneath to allow me to turn it off had to go to the mains, turn it off. I had flexi pipes that helped. Um, it's all just a bit odd because that wall now to the left of me, it's all brown underneath, and then they've put some sort of rubberized paint right right by the button I just took off. You can see all the dust in my hair, it's nasty stuff. And now I'm taking the plasterboard off that was underneath the bar to the left because do a full sheet all the way up and save those buttons because it's expensive at the moment taking the last of that plasterboard off uh, plaster off that wall because i want that fresh stuff because that's just nasty cheap horrible the place has been done not greatly but anyway thanks for watching and hopefully see you next time <laughs>